G'day folks, Corey Hind, I hope you're really well. So this is a problem that we've seen has come my way three times in the last two weeks, which is people's Google business profiles not having a services tab on the left-hand side. Now this is quite a problem because for some businesses, that services tab is in line with what they do. They want to be able to showcase their services and using that services tab is a really great way to elevate their ranking and get more calls and showcase their business. So I guess the gist of this video is why is it happening and what can we do about it? I've done a lot of research about this because I've had two clients with this problem and a third person and it's worth doing the research because it's a little bit confusing and I guess one of the main things is there's no clear definitive answer as to why it's happening so I want to run you through my findings so that you know what to do. So let's just roll down here a little bit. If you can see on this image, I might just shrink my head out of the way so I can see this. This is one of the listings, and you'll see down the left-hand side, there's the normal tabs there, reviews, etc. but there's no services tab. Now, for this business, they definitely should have a services tab, okay? Now, the other person that came away this morning, she's definitely got a services business, and also, it doesn't appear to be there. And initially, people think, oh, it's not fair, or why is this happening to me? Uh, people talk about why this area is really important. What can we do about it? So first of all, why is this happening? So it seems all the reading I've done, I've had to dig into some forums and Reddit groups and all over the internet to find answers for this. And really there's no definitive answer, but it seems that for some reason, automatically or with human updates, Google has decided that you're a products business more than a services business. That seems to be the crux of the problem even though I can't even be sure about that, okay? And for the businesses that I've looked at specifically, they're definitely not products businesses, but it seems that somehow Google's algorithm has tweaked some something, some keyword, something you've done to say, oh, it's a products business, not a services business, therefore we won't put the services tab there. Some businesses won't have the products tab, okay? So Google tries to gather information from everywhere to put the right things there, okay? Now, I do think that possibly it's linked to the category you've initially selected for your listing. Okay, so if you look at my listing here, if you go to the info tab and then underneath my business name is marketing agency, internet marketing service. So I have services there. Most businesses I manage have services there. So if there is one common thing I've found in my reading, it's that that category there governs what turns up over here, okay? Now, unfortunately, this is probably the predominant finding amongst the people I've talked to about this problem, which is that it's a bit of a Google bug, and there's no reason why it's happening, and there's no easy fix, okay? So that's a disappointing conclusion, but it's a real conclusion, okay? However, I have been able to find quite a few people who have solved it. Now, sometimes they've done things which I think are a bit risky. So I'm not going to suggest any of those as the best solutions. One guy stripped his listing right back to the beginning. He actually deleted it and restarted all over again. Now, that's probably a bit risky and extreme because you won't appear on Google for quite some time. You have to re-verify that could take... In these days, that could take four weeks. It's a long time to not be there. But that guy did solve the problem that way. He reinstated his whole listing. So that's certainly an option. This is what I would do. So step number one, I would go to support.google.com slash business. See that there? And I click on the contact us. Now that, if you're lucky, you can work through some, some written pieces in there and you can get in touch with Google. Now, it does state on that site at the moment that Google still isn't at full capacity because of COVID, blah, 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 but it's well worth it. If you can talk to a human, usually common sense will prevail and they will agree with you and go, oh, yeah, you're right. Let's pop the services there. So that's what I'll do first. And that's what I will be doing for one of my clients this week is getting in touch with Google. This point here is... I talked about this before, which is to strip your listing right back, re-verify it with a new service listing. Nervous times. Don't know if I'd do that. And this is probably the other step I would take. Apart from 
editing and getting into your listing to talk about, look at the info tab fully, look at any areas you can insert the word service and make the listing look like a service business and then Google might recrawl it and pop that services tab there for you. Um, after I did this step here of contact us via the support.google.com slash business, my next step would probably be, if that's unsuccessful, to start a Google Ads account for that business and then try and get on the phone to the Google Ads team and then say to them, hey, by the way, we've got an issue with the Google Business Profile, which is an important part of our Google presence. Can we talk about that with you right now as well? We've done that for other issues with Google and it definitely can work, okay? So that is everything I know. At the end of the day, there's no clear definitive answer. If you can talk to a person, that's probably a good step. And then really just get into Google's um, contact us options and try and solve it that way as well. Hopefully that helps. If you do have anything to add to that, I'd love to hear about it because this, this is quite a problem for people who run a business that has services, you want to be able to edit that area and add words to enrich your listing and make it appear up the top and get as many leads and sales as possible. All right, guys, bye for now. We'll talk soon. Have a great day.